So, as soon as the story begins, we are shown a Metroid roaming in space. The Metroid is taken by a spaceship of a corporation in space. And scientists start researching this Metroid. And during the research, the scientists found out that there was a face in this Metroid. Which can also be called the Egg of the Alien. Which goes inside a human or any living being and gives birth to the alien. After the scene is cut, we are introduced to a girl named Rain who lives with her brother on another planet. Her brother, whose name is Andy, is not a human, but an android robot, which was made by Rain's dad to take care of Rain. It is known that Rain wants to leave her planet and go to another planet. Because the sun was not visible from her planet and she wanted to see the sun. And to go, she needed a ticket, which she got when she completed her 12,000 working hours. Rain completes her working hours with Andy and when she goes to get the ticket, she finds out that the rules have changed. The ticket that used to be given after 12,000 hours of work, now the ticket had to be given after 24,000 hours of work. Rain was sad to hear this because she wanted to go to another planet at any cost. Anyway, she now goes to her friend's house, where her friend, whose name is Tyler, tells her that he has seen a broken spaceship in space. In the spaceship, there are many dry ports and chambers, through which they can easily go to another planet. In this way, they will not need a ticket to go to another planet. But there was a problem. To open all these chambers, they needed a robot. All these people together request rain. If you help us, we can all get out of here. We just need your robot Andy, I promise, he will not be harmed. Now because Rain also knew that there is no better way to leave this planet, so she agrees to the help of everyone else. So then they make a plan and sit in their spacecraft and leave for space. After going to space, they find out that the space station behind which they were going had two parts. One was called Ramis and the other was called Ramalus. And the worst thing was that Ramalus was now going to be destroyed, that too in just 37 minutes. Everyone is scared to hear this, but Tyler encourages everyone and says that they will finish their work in just 30 minutes and come back. After saying this, Tyler takes Andy and another partner and goes inside Ramalus. And the rest of the three girls in the group were sitting in Ramalus and watching them. Andy could open Ramalus's system. After opening Andy's Ramalus, they go inside and they were surprised to see that one part of Ramalus was destroyed as if it had melted and half-melted robot was also lying here. Anyway, there was no time to pay attention to all this. They go ahead and find the dry pods, which they found, but the bad thing was that they did not have much fuel in them. So now they started looking for fuel in the space station. All the dry pods had fuel for only three years and they needed fuel for nine years to go to another planet. While looking for fuel, the three of them came to a chamber where the aliens' eggs, i.e. facehuggers, were kept frozen. These facehuggers used to stick to humans' mouths and then aliens like humans were born. Seeing this, all of them get scared and try to get out of here, but unfortunately, now the door of this chamber is closed and the bigger problem is that the temperature of this chamber is increasing with time. Andy is not able to open this door because his technology is old and he does not have the security codes of the space station. All this, his other three partners were also sitting in the other part of the spaceship, not in Remus. Seeing them in trouble, she comes inside Remunus to help them. Here, they also face the half-melted robot first. Seeing this, Rean got an idea that since this was the spaceship's robot, he could have the security codes of the space station. And if this robot's chip was put inside Andy, he would also be able to control the entire spaceship. That's why she takes out the chip of this robot and now reaches the chamber in which the three of them were trapped. From a hole in the wall, 
she grabs this chip from Andy. Andy puts this chip inside him and immediately starts rebooting. By the time Andy's system was being updated, the temperature of this chamber had increased so much that now the facehuggers were also starting to melt, which were previously frozen here. As soon as the ice melts, the facehuggers are released. As soon as the system is updated, Andy opens this chamber and these people quickly get out. And before they could close this chamber again, a facehugger jumped out of that chamber and attacked them together. He completely covered his partner's face, which gives Reen an idea to get rid of him. She freezes the tail of this facehugger with a freezing gun, after which finally these people managed to get this facehugger out of his mouth. But they didn't know that the facehugger had injected something into this girl's mouth. Now these people were out of trouble because suddenly the chamber in the middle of both parts of the space station was closed. And in this way, these people were divided into two teams, one team was Reen, Andy and Tyler, while the rest of the people were in another team. Reen notices here that Andy has advanced a lot because of the addition of a new chip. He is able to communicate better, he is able to speak. On the other hand, the girl who was attacked by the facehugger had a stomachache. She uses an X-ray device here to see inside her stomach. She finds out that there is an alien in her stomach, which suddenly came out of her stomach and as soon as it came out, the girl died. All this was seen by Reen, Tyler and Andy. Before these people could do anything, the fuel tank was also blasted near the other people, which set fire to the part of the Romus, that is, the space station. Now the lives of Tyler and Reen were in danger, whom these people decide to save, but this work was not that easy. To save them, all three had to pass through the chamber in which the facehuggers were. In this way, their own life could also be in danger, but these people could not sit with their hands tied. These people make a plan after thinking about it. We knew that these facehuggers can detect them due to the body temperature and noise of humans. These people can't see or recognize them anyway, so they decided that they would adjust the temperature of the chamber according to the temperature of the humans. So that they would not know that humans are inside, and they would move forward without making a sound. And according to this plan, these people start moving forward. On the other hand, the two brothers and sisters are shown in the Romus, 